pretty friends. I hope you guys are doing well. It is the flu season, so I do have a bit of a raspy voice. Um, a bit. I hope it's not picking up on camera, but if it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's not much I could do about it. But yeah, let's just get started. So a couple months ago, I did show you guys my setup. That has obviously changed. Um, I do have another workstation that I will show you guys in a bit. Um, it's a smaller area, but I use that area as well. So yeah, this is my setup. I am going to try showing you where I got most of my stationary items. Um, so yeah, most of them are very inexpensive. I know that some people want to do their own businesses or it might not necessarily be bird related, but they want to have their own business and they might just be looking for some kind of inspiration. So yeah, this is kind of the setup that I am using. Obviously, I'm a small shop owner. It's I'm small. It's not like I have a, this very big business. So my setup is also small um, and it's more useful for me to have this kind of setup. Also, the difference between my old setup and this setup is that with this setup, if you guys could tell, is that I could actually see everything. So with my other setup, it was very small. And like I said, I was even smaller a couple months ago with how much orders I was getting. So it'd be easier to find my toy parts. In my case, I have toy parts over there. So it'd be easier, but now that I have grown a bit, it's like it was getting a bit difficult so I decided to change my setup now my setup looks kind of like this and I'm gonna just get started so yeah let's start so this is the Ivar if I'm not mistaken shelving unit from Ikea I might be pronouncing it wrong but besides the point I'll have it down at the description below for you guys it came with five shelves at least the one style that I picked they have different styles and you could add on to it that was the main reason why I wanted this shelving unit is because it's very customizable so it came with five shelves but i added an extra shelving bit if that makes sense now i need this space so i really wanted this because for instance if you look here there's a gap between the boxes here and then over here right but let's just say this whole area is filled up if i need that extra space which to be honest, you guys could probably tell it's quite full over here. I could just get another shelf and put it over here and then use the top area. So nothing really, like the space is not really going for waste. Which is the reason why I really wanted this uh, shelving unit. Is that I could really make most um, of my space. Like I could really add on to it. That was the main reason why I wanted this shelving unit. So yeah, let's start from the bottom and I'll show you guys what I have. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. I have vine hearts, palm flowers, and vine balls over here. They are in these bins. I got all my bins from um, the dollar store. So just go to your nearest dollar store if you're interested. Um, so yeah, this is what my dollar store had at the moment. They don't even have them, I think, at, at the moment. I did want to purchase more, but you could go look. Um, they come in different shapes and different sizes. These are just the very few ones I have that are in the color gray but yeah so these are the ones I have at the bottom shelf in this shelf I have pine just pine anyway and I have some weird stuff in there <laughs> I have vine balls guys it's nothing too crazy so over here I have um, my foot toys now these are the foot toys I have they're actually quite big surprisingly a lot of guinea pig owners and rabbit owners really like these sort of stuff so I have had a lot of customers that had um, small animals that would get these. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I do have some random solas which I'll get into in a minute. And then over here, I hope it's in focus, I have these balsa. Now some people that are in the bird business may know there's like one company that actually sells balsa. I'm not going to tell who because I don't want to be responsible. This is the first time I got from them uh, supplies. The balsa is good quality. The problem is I'm an idiot. So <laughs> I don't have a machine to cut wood. So most of the stuff that I do get, they are actually pre-cut. Now I am going to get a machine that I'm going to be putting in, in our garage. It's just to cut wood and stuff. Nothing fancy. But because I don't have any wood, um, like a machine to cut wood, I have these huge chunks. I'm not even joking. It's it's huge and by the way the side owner they obviously described it well 
I just kind of overestimated my skills. So I, mean, I am gonna get a machine. I can't do this with hand. I can't like get a saw and start cutting. It's just not gonna work. So to get a clean cut, like I said, this is a very nicely clean cut balsa wood. I need a machine. So this has been being stored here. I think I have like 10 pieces or 12 pieces for a couple of months. Embarrassing, but yes, that is, that is the balsa that I have that's just been sitting here. Now in this section, it's kind of my favorite section because it's very colorful. Um, I have most of my colorful um, toy parts over here. They're not all colorful, but like most of my colored parts are here. And then most of my natural items are over here. So over here, here's what I have. Now some of the bins have my um, small foot toys. And then some of them just have colorful toy part so that's what it looks like these are again foot toys and like I said for I guess for a lot of small animals they do prefer toys like this this is just birch so yeah there's that and then I have some solos and then there's mahogany pods so as for the natural section I have all the natural bits so there's that I'm not gonna really name every part it's just gonna be way too long but if you couldn't guess, I'm getting prepared to make these parts. Hint, hint, it's gonna come out soon. Now, this part of my um, setup I really like because I set them out like this, and when I take pictures, it looks really aesthetic. <laughs> so, it looks nice like when I'm taking a picture, like from this angle, it looks really nice. So, yeah, these are just natural wood parts that I have. Again, I, I have trusted wholesalers that I get these from. So there's that, and then I have like smaller parts over there. Now in there, you guys can't really tell, let me just go there. In here I have like my materials, and then in here, I'm just not gonna go all the way there. Yes, I have two different colored nail polishes here, but at the back, the pink um, bin, there's just um, foam, like foam parts, because I make foam toys. So at the top of the shelf, I have crinkle paper over there, actually in this bin and then over here I have some extra toy parts but yeah this is kind of how my setup looks like for at least this shelf this is the bin I got from Walmart like years ago but they still have them so yeah this is from Walmart I do have like some random pieces here and then I have like some solo flowers and then these are my freebies I actually do give everyone freebies regardless what your order is if you just order stickers your freebies are not going to be toy parts because I'm just going to assume you just like stickers. I don't know if you have animals, so instead of giving you toy parts, I give you free stickers. So there's that. But yeah, and the reason why I have a lot of purples, greens, and oranges is because Halloween season. So anyone who orders any Halloween-y type of toy, I give them Halloween-y type of free parts, if that makes any sense. Now this area over here is a bin. I, I just use a lot of these supplies every day. Let me just remove this so I just put them over here again we're preparing for Christmas and the fall so I already have those prepared these are for Halloween and then some natural beads and then postages now this is the table I use let me do a backup view so I didn't clean everything because I just want to show you guys how it really looks like and this is pretty much how my table looks like so this is the table I am using I don't know where I got this table guys just whatever <laughs> And this is the pegboard I got from Ikea. This is so far how I am storing my toys. Now most of them are kind of Halloween stuff or like my fall toys. And that's a fall toy. That's also a fall toy. Um, my Christmas toys are going to go more at the bottom area. I do have to order some more of these um, hooks. So yeah, and I put these um, ropes over here to make things more accessible. And this is for my... Um, Christmas, winter, holiday season, I'm just going to be using these. Now this um, I got, by the way, sorry, sorry, this is just my coaster. Um, I drink a lot of coffee. So this is just a, um, what would you call this? Like craft paper that I use to kind of give um, my packaging more storage space. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the toys up close. So like I said, these are my Halloween toys. And then I have one more at the bottom. This is kind of a rainbow themed toy. These are more my natural toys. And then this is the top shelf. And then those are kind of my favorites over here if you couldn't tell. So yeah, this is kind of my setup um, over here. 
I don't know. It's very simple, but this is kind of what my setup looks like. And like I said, I need more of those hooks. My um, Christmas toys are going to go more at the bottom area because it's just easier to reach. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, let me show you the other section I was talking about earlier. So this is the next section that I have. Um, I do have some random bits. I didn't really clean anywhere of my space because I just wanted to be 100% honest with you guys how my space looks like. These are like these ornament. They're acrylic. They're safe for birds. I got them because I wanted to do some Christmas themed ornaments. So yeah, this is why there's a bit over here. But this is what they're going to look like at the end. Not at completely at the end, but there's going to be some Christmassy theme stuff in here i don't know if i should put treats or anything anyway i'll show you guys once they get released but yeah there's that now you guys have actually seen what i put into these cupboards that one's missing because i actually use it on my table for something else but that area over there but i think you guys have seen it these are just can you tell by the colors what theme i'm going for i think you can right christmas winter so um, this is, uh, this is what I have. I think you guys have seen some of these stuff. So, these are my sticky, oopsies. These are my sticky stuff. And then, I got this a while back, but, um, the customer, uh, the, um, uh, oh god, I can't speak. The seller was great, but I haven't been using them, so they're just stored there. <laughs> so, these are some of the stuff I have. There's really nothing too crazy. These are some of the beads I have. Now, these are the more new stuff. They're like for Christmas sort of stuff. So, yeah, this is where I have been storing those. Um, there's that. Oh, I think you guys want to see the stickers. Wait, wait. So, these are some of the new stickers I have. Aren't they cute? They look fabulous. Um, I had, um, I, I have been really busy, guys. Um, so I had, um, a very kind digital artist this time around help me with the digital stickers and, uh, it's commissioned work and I paid for commissioned work and that's about it. The, she actually did the design as well, I think. Was it her? I could be right. Yeah, it was her. <laughs> so yeah, these are my designs, but yeah. So, yeah, I'll have a link to her down below too, you know. So this was, those were the new designs and then this because it's like winter is coming. So I wanted, this is Edward, by the way, let me just make this less confusing for you. These, these two are Edward because I don't have any stickers of Edward. So I sent her a picture. She already knows me. It's been a while. I've known her. She's great. So those are for Edward. Those are the new winter ones. These are the fall ones. And I wanted one with Kiwi. So that's that. And then that's that. So yeah, and the other stickers, they're mine. I think most. But yeah, I do actually have artists uh, to commission me. Or I paid, com not commission me, but I pay commissioned work. Because it's just easier, sorry. <laughs> it's just easier if they do the digital art and I can sell them. Now, I don't always have the time like I used to. These are actually at the top area. I pre-packaged my freebie winter stuff. So this is what they look like. I did show you guys the stickers. They're actually from Amazon. You could get like... 500 or like a thousand of them um they just come in a pack it's not my sticker the winter ones but then yeah these are what i got from amazon and then the toy parts also this it's i think they're called like cookie cellophane cellophane what big cookie bakes i call them cookie bakes but anyway um so yeah this is also from amazon the sticker is from amazon just google it on amazon or like i don't know i'm sure ebay or I don't shop from AliExpress, but you could check them. I'm sure they have something similar. So, so this is the ones I use. This is what they look like. I have so many because why not? I'm hopeful that the winter season is going to be nice to me in the holiday season. So I have a lot. They're, by the way, they all have the same stuff. So they all have the same stuff. Yeah. And then this is the last part of my stationary area. It's pretty much beads. I, I'm not gonna really show you guys all of it, but like, they're just beads in case I want to use them. But yeah, this is what this area looks like. I'm very excited for the Christmas stuff. So I really hope you guys like this video. I hope it wasn't too long and too boring. It's out of the typical videos I typically post on my channel, but I thought it'd be nice. Um, you guys can let me know. If you do want to support me, I do have my Etsy shop, but I also have my store. 
they are a bit cheaper if you do buy from my store and I do sell internationally so if you are an international individual who's interested in these toys you can actually go to my Etsy shop and my website and purchase from there that being said not all the toys let me just give you guys quick disclaimer not all the toys are here sometimes I don't have the space for it so I just make it on demand so they're not all here if you don't see the toy you'll like like I said just go visit my Etsy or my website if they are not out of stock you could just order them so yeah I hope you guys like this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day bye bye